Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Park something tour. <laughs> um, I believe it's Jurassic Park Institute tour. That's right. So, like I said in the last episode, if you didn't catch it, it was this is a Japanese exclusive game that for some reason is entirely in English except for the directions on how to do certain things. So, last episode we played Cross Dinosaur. In this episode we're going to try to do Danger Zone. So let's jump right into the game. And as you can see, this is what I meant. The uh, All the controls are in a different language. They're in Japanese. So I can't read it. Um, but from what I can tell, you press the arrow keys and B and A. So let's go. Okay. So, in this game, you try to avoid the, what I assume is supposed to be debris from Mount Sibo. And try to get into the cave to hide. Which is funny because um, this game came out about the same time Jurassic Park 3 was out. So the uh, eruption from Jurassic World never happened. But I believe in the novelizations of the uh, Jurassic Park franchise, there was a volcanic eruption. Oh, my dinosaur changed color. So, you basically take only one step at a time, so you have to, like, spam your arrow key. Um, A does the same thing. So, you can either use your arrows or you can use A. And B will take you back. Kind of do like a little uh, jackrabbit jump to get places. Alright, I need to time this. I feel like I'm faster by doing the air key method. No, I'm about the same. So it's been a while since I've been in uh, science class, but oh, I got a golden parasaur. That's interesting. I believe this type of uh, thing is that we're trying to avoid are known as lava bombs or magma bombs. Forget. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think I'm better at this than I was at the uh, cross dinosaur. Let's see, there we go. And get into the cave. Man, those are coming down crazy. Are we going to make it to a thousand? 
in in the last episode I mentioned this, but um, that high score is not mine. Oh no, I messed up. So that high score is not mine. Uh, that was actually saved onto this cartridge from the original owner. Completely flubbed that one. I thought I could beat it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. Come on. And we did make it to a thousand. Oh, and we earned a life back. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there, the dinosaur changed color again. Oh, I completely... Yep. Yeah, I tried to run past it. Didn't work out very well for me, did it? I knew I messed up just as soon as I uh, pressed the button. Alright, so let's do that one more time. I say one more time. I don't know how long it's going to be. We might do this a couple more times. Already got the silver, that's nice. So I can only go like one little like bunny hop step at a time. <clears throat> no. Oh, I can beat it. It seems like most of the time when I uh, take damage in this game, it's uh, or this this little mini game. It's me thinking, oh yeah, I have time, and then I just don't have time at all.
And we got the silver guy back. No! I should just see where I was. Yeah. These uh, games on this cartridge are definitely like good time wasters. All right. Sorry that I'm not talking and doing like interesting commentary through this. I'm kind of like focusing on trying to avoid all these. Or maybe it's preferable I don't talk. I don't know. <laughs> I was lucky on that one. I'll, I don't know if you saw that, but I think I walked through it just as soon as um, hit the ground. I got the gold one back. That's nice. And there, I got back to a thousand. These ones come down a lot faster than the other ones. No! No, oh, I tried. Oh well. <laughs> well, I think that gives you guys pretty good uh, idea of what the game's like. So that one was Danger Zone, and in the next episode, we're going to play Egg Guard. So this one's actually pretty fun. You uh, 
play as a pteranodon trying to defend this nest from people trying to steal its eggs. So we'll be doing that in the next episode. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you later.